guys, it's Ricky here, and I've got a great tutorial for you today about an awesome Firefox plugin that will automate those annoying, tedious tasks, saving you hours every day so you can get back to doing something else. We will be going over how to create, manage, and build the best Tier 1 links on Web 2.0 sites, how to spin pictures, images, and videos for maximum uniqueness every time, how to save and extract your tier 1 URLs for further promotion, my tips and tricks you will only find on this blog, and I will leave my resources on the blog below where you can find your free trial for 7 days. So I'll just jump right in. After you download Autofill Magic, you'll notice three new icons up here in your bookmark toolbar. The first little magic wand here is what we will click when we want to sign in or fill out forms in just one click. If we hover over it, we can see the keyboard shortcuts. This little blue backlink here is for after you're done posting to a certain blog, your post page, you just click this backlink and that will save that link, which will be your tier one link, to that profile. The little envelope here is your mail. If it's got a little red check on it, mail is okay. If it needs attention, you'll see a little yellow triangle with an exclamation point on it. We have a couple of options here in the drop down. This is where you can switch to different profiles. I'd recommend that you name your profile something that's relevant to the project because they add up quick and they'll be easier to find. You can fill out certain fields if Autofill Magic for some reason didn't get the article title or the blog title or you need an avatar you can just come in here and click on that or you can hit control and save it to your clipboard and then just paste it in the field that you need. If there's any if you need help or have any questions about newer versions you can just come right here to help you can disable and enable any notes and we'll find out what those are in just a few moments we can edit stored user information on a certain site say we change a password or we can delete user information you can also reinitialize the plugin if it freezes but I have yet to see it crash or freeze and before we start posting to sites we want to set a few configurations and settings for profiles the first thing that we're gonna need to do is is click on profile actions select new profile I'll name this autofill magic profile and I will create the profile then I'll click drop down and autofill magic now in settings we have a couple of options here we can choose to automatically fill the form on page load or we can choose to clear cookies when the profile is changed I'm gonna leave these alone and for keyboard shortcuts, you can use these keyboard shortcuts or you can make your own and you can also reset to default. Visual aid, you want to just come in here and tick visual aid. We can choose the capture, death by capture or capture breaker. We want to enter our username, password and check our balance. If you don't have an account at DCAPTURE or Death by Capture, you can go to the site by clicking right here, or you can get Capture Breaker for a one time fee. But if you choose to pick one of these sites, you'll pay about $2 for 2,000 captures. And Autofill Magic doesn't use that many captures. So you won't be spending a lot of money with this tool for capture costs. Next, we want to come into bookmarks, make sure we're on the profile we just saved, and we want to hit generate bookmarks. Now, what that's going to do is it's going to add all these bookmarks and just find them. 
it's going to add these three bookmarks autofill magic sign up autofill magic login autofill magic post and we can come into blogs we have travel blogs if we're trying to promote something that has to do with traveling we have all of these blogs you can see we've got skyrock copy taste tumblr on sugar all the good sites kiwi box blog baker bravenet slash dot newsvine we've got fifty different web 2.0 sites that we can post to we also can come into french blogs german blogs spanish blogs a couple of other blogs we do hub pages the ones that are temporarily unavailable which they are probably just fixing the script for at the moment some website builders there's 14 of them here see we got Yola, Angel Fire and a couple of wikis, wiki dot and wiki spaces all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna drag this up to the bookmark menu and rename it quickly so autofill I'll name it autofill magic blogs and click save now we've got our blogs all set we've generated our bookmarks we can come in here and finish our settings now for email again make sure we are on the right profile we can choose to delete mail on server after receiving this is where the manual mail will be if you need to click on a verification link every once in a while all the emails that were auto clicked for you will show up here the emails that were skipped will be here we can manage our accounts here and we can set up custom filters we want to come to manage account really quick we can import from a file add edit or remove an account right now we want to add an account select hotmail gmail yahoo whatever email service we are going to use enter the email it selected the server and the port for us then we enter our username and password here and save account next we move on to proxies I've got 10 proxies in here I got from buy proxies I'll leave the link below and if you want to go to instant proxies you can also go there where they give you 10 private proxies for just 10 bucks license just make sure you have your email address and password that you've created when you signed up or downloaded the program and click activate to make sure that it is working now we can move back to profiles and the first thing we're going to want to do is hit populate profile on the bottom here it's going to fill out some information for us okay after we hit pre-populate we're left with a couple of options one we can fill in the rest of the fields and we can move on to entering our article or if we want to leave less of a footprint then we can add some advanced tokens into the fields so for the area code we can tell it to choose five random numbers every time it will look like this curly bracket pound sign how many numbers we want it to choose and another curly bracket that means choose five random numbers we can also do the same thing with letters we can tell it to choose five random letters like this random letters five why would we want to do this so that we can add completely unique usernames subdomains and change every field we can also choose three random numbers choose three random numbers choose four random numbers and have the telephone number different every single site it certainly doesn't make sense to put the same telephone number on every single site when all we have to do is add a simple code like this so now we can go back enter these into the fields where it makes sense to do so we can add usernames and subdomains 
and we can spin a couple of numbers and letters in there to make them completely unique. We can also add our email address. The first names are already in there and spun for us. We can spin a few numbers for the street address, add some street addresses, and then spin a couple of words like road, lane, drive, so they're different every time. We can leave state and province alone because they're already spun for us. As you can see, pretty much every state is in there. We can leave the United States alone for now. You can select male or female for gender. The password is already in there for us. We can leave that alone. And we can select a folder or a file for avatars. If we select file, it will pick one avatar. If we select a folder, it will pick however many avatars we have in that folder. I'll leave a link below so that you can download. I'll leave at least 50 avatars in a folder there for you. The last names we can leave alone, they're already pre-spun. For the city, just one per line, add a couple of city names, and when you click spin and save, it will spin and save it for you. So what we saw on the last slide, for zip code, we can add choose five random numbers, and it will put a different zip code in there every time. Then for phone number, we can choose three random numbers, choose three random numbers, and choose four random numbers, and we'll get a different phone number every single time. For the biography, just write three quick sentences and spin them on at least word level. For URLs to promote, put a few variations of the URL you're trying to promote and some anchor text. When you put in anchor text, put in a few anchors and don't forget some generic like visit this site, content source from, click here, and all that kinds of good stuff. Then security question, spin a few security questions in there, spin a few answers, leave the birthday as it is, it will pick random, random, random for you. And before you move along, just hit preview profile. Now you can see that in just a few minutes we've created over 50 different unique variations of profiles, each with a different avatar. Just go through, make sure you didn't make any mistakes. The only thing that shouldn't be spun is the email. If you really want to go and put a few different emails and set up a few different emails in email verification, you can do that. But for now, I'm just going to leave it as one. If you were to do that with the email, it would be completely unique. There would be absolutely no footprint as long as you put it couple different variations of your the URL you are trying to promote. After we're done that, we can move on to the Web 2.0 Articles tab and insert our article. Now we're going to grab our article. I'm going to hop over to my spinning software of choice. I've already prepared an article. This is Spinner Chief 3. There is a free version and an ultimate version. I will leave the download link underneath the video. The free version lets you put an article in here and you can replace synonyms. And the ultimate version, you can put an article in here and click Superspin and get a pretty good article in just a click. There's many other functions of this but that's a whole nother tutorial. I'm going to just come in here before I export my article and select 10 articles, hit spin. It's going to create 10 different variations of my article, all in different tabs. I'm going to hit calculate similarity among spun articles and it's going to go out and make a little graph for me and compare every article against each other and we can go over it really quick just to make sure that we're not getting any duplicate content when you do this on your own it should be a lot better looking than this you shouldn't have any red in there but this is just a demonstration I've only spun this article on word level three times so I'm just going to copy it quick hop back over to autofill magic 
and paste it in. The first thing you're going to want to do is go through it and break up the content and drag line breaks in there. Only where it makes sense to do so, and that's how you would separate the paragraphs. We can drag, here's an example of an image tag. It's a blank image tag. If you leave it in here like this, it's not going to do anything. You would need to go find an image, right click, copy the image location, and paste it in there between the parentheses for the image to show up in your article. But that's not the way that we do it. We have to prepare three different article image files and an article video file. This is probably going to be the hardest part of setting up the campaign. But remember, once you're finished, you're going to be able to create complete tier 1 blog sites in just a few clicks. If you wanted to create 50 blog sites in a couple hours, it would be very easy to do. If you had to do that by hand, it could easily take you a couple weeks. So spending a lot of time in getting this right the first time is definitely worth it. And you're still ahead of the game either way you look at it. The easiest way to explain how to set these files up is to show you in a little notepad file. Here's the example, the image source tag, where we would paste in the image source URL. All of these links are also down below the video on my blog in the quick start charts and guides along with pictures, so I'm just going to go over this very quick. Here is an example of a contextual link tag. We would just replace this domain with whatever domain we are trying to promote, and we can also spin a few different keywords in there, and it would pick a different keyword every time. If we wanted to add a video to the video file, we just go to YouTube, go underneath the video, click on share, and find the embed code. It looks like this. Then we would paste one per line, as many as we wanted, into this, this file like this. This is an example of three. And click Spin and Save. Then your, your video file is complete. The, the last thing that you would have to do to insert the video, this marker. You can find it if you hover over article video and it will tell you add embed code to video to use in your article and it tells you what marker to use so you can copy and paste that wherever you want in your article and it will spin this article file in there for you we're going to do the same thing with three article images we're going to use this marker article image one then we have an article image 2 marker and an article image 3 marker. Those are for each different file. What we have to do is open up the file and paste them in here one by line. This is only three, but it looks like this. Here is the image source code with the URL in the embed code. Then we would go through the article and add the article image markers in between in between the paragraphs like this where we inserted our line breaks. Then we would want to preview the article and make sure we didn't have any mistakes. You won't see the video show up but when you see a big square like this that's where the video will be. When you post to the site, it will look fine, but for now, this is how it looks. Then we just want to hit spin a couple of times and make sure that our pictures are changing. When everything looks good, we can close. The next thing we need to be aware of are the find and replace markers. This is another way we can add images, videos, and links into our article. 
there are three different find and replace operators that we need to be aware of. We can make them anything we want. I make it easy and I use this for an image pound image pound that's my image marker I use pound video pound for my video marker and I use pound link pound for my link marker then you go to replace markers find words that match with and you add either your video marker or your image marker or your link marker to show you I'll create three I'll make one video I will make one link and I will make one image you can put as many as you want in there if I put two video markers in there and I only replace one of them and I leave the rest it's going to leave this ugly tag in my article so just make sure if you use more than one that you come here and you delete the rest now I put a video embed code here I could put a link I could put a link code here and an image code here and where, where I put these in my article it's going to replace them those are the two different ways that we can add images text and links to our video if you want to randomize the places and make it extra unique you can add multiple markers and you can say add four you can replace two and leave the rest then we want to go to block spinning we can check use block spinning generate four to six paragraphs lock the first and lock the last that will keep our intro the same our outro the same it will pick between four and six paragraphs of our article that will spin it on paragraph level a little bit for us when we're all done with this and we're happy with the results that we get your tier one site should look a lot better than this this is a very small example it's spin a few times make sure it's the way that you want it and then click close now we're ready to build our tier one blog sites and get our sites to jump up pretty high in the rankings if not on this campaign on the next one first thing we want to realize before we build these blogs is we want to remember that they must be helpful and authoritative all by themselves they must be relevant to the content on the site they should be at least five pages each they should point to other domains other than ours so if we have a fishing site here as our main site we've built some fishing blogs around it we don't want to just link to our site we want to link to other relevant fishing sites we want minimal footprints on these sites relevant and contextual but we do not want this blog to look anything like this blog or this blog to look anything like that blog or be able to be compared in any way we don't want any spammy content on this tier and if we're not going to do anything else we want to at least sprinkle them with wikis and bookmarks so this would be our first tier this would be our second tier and this would be our third tier ultimately what's going to happen these blogs have already built up a lot of authority and trust in the search engines this will kind of act like our buffer zone it's, it's a little bit harder for them to be de-indexed we have the ability to cancel the account or remove the link and we can bring this one step further if we want in tier 4 do mass blog comments put them in RSS feeds put these links on statistical sites, who is sites 
index them up quick, and when we ping them and notify the search engines of new content, every oh, when these sites get crawled, it's going to give the search engine spiders all these different paths to move through the tiers onto our blog, powering up the PR of our blog. And that's ultimately the goal here. We're going to use autofill magic to create a great tier one as quick as we can but still have complete control over it and then we're going to use those tier one links that we have in the link manager inside autofill magic and then we can take them and build tier two put them in something like GSA search engine ranker or magic submitter any of your other favorite link building tools let's head right on over to autofill magic and start posting to some sites and creating our links to post to some sites after we finish a few more settings right now you should have general info completely filled out you should have the web 2.0 completely filled out brought your article in here added images videos contextual links and you can come into here this is the link manager i've set up a blog as an example so when I click this little backlink it will add your tier 1 links into here and then you can export them into GSA or Magic Submitter or whatever you use to build your link campaigns then we go into proxies we select a proxy for our profile if we select number 5 here the proxies that we entered here it will automatically change to number 5 at the end of the month when we refresh our list when we get fresh proxies from our provider then what we want to do is go into settings click automatically fill form on page load and then we can come into our bookmark and choose to we'll go with these these blogs we can click open up all in tabs it's going to open up all of those We'll go over to our thoughts and make a thought blog really quick. It's signed in. It has filled out the name, the email, the password, and we just click sign up. It has automatically chosen an avatar. We can change it if we want, but I'm just going to hit next. We just fill out a couple of topics. These are where other link building tools would fail. Click a couple of blogs so it looks like I'm active in the community and hit finish. Now we can go to a new post. It's working. It has filled out my title for me and it has filled out the post for me. There are the picture. There's another picture. This one didn't have a video. It has filled in the tags for me. We can ch choose to share it on Facebook, but I'm just going to hit create. We can go through all of the top blogs and just create post, create post, create post, or create profile, create profile, create po profile, and we can get this done really fast. So I just wanted to explain notes really fast. You'll see the notes here on the left. You can enable them or disable them by going into the drop down. There will be a lot of quick links up on the top. You can click the first one to get to the sign up page. You can manage and edit here. You can choose to go to your home page. You can go right to the post page. If there's an RSS feed, this will be lit up. You can go there, the home page, and the login page. It will tell you what site you're on, as well as if you need to use email if there is an RSS feed, if you can use HTML in the post or site, if you can schedule tasks or posts, if there is a do follow or no follow in the article, or sorry, in the profile, and if there is a no follow or do follow in the article. If the site is easier or hard to navigate, and then you have some notes that will help you really just on the harder sites that to navigate through. So I'm going to head right over to blog.io and set up another blog really quick. Fill out the title and click save. 
Now here's what my post looks like. What I want to do is I want to say, click the back link and this would be a tier one link that I can further promote. Here's an example of the blog. Again, this is just a really quick blog. Your blog should be a lot better looking than this. And you should update them and change things like the theme. We can go to the RSS feed. There is one. We can't schedule posts. There will be a do follow link in here. And now we could go to every single one of these sites if we wanted. I don't, we don't want to do it too quick. But we can go create accounts and post pages and profile pages and make some pretty good tier one links. If I go in, the little check mark will let me know that I have already saved the link. So if I go in settings, profiles, my links, now we have the link that I just saved. So after I'm done posting to my sites for my tier one, I can export these accounts. Yeah, that's pretty much how you would go about setting up uh, a quick account in Autofill Magic for Tier 1 Management. You can get pretty crazy with this. It's updated pretty frequently. The link below, you can use your 7 day trial to build some Tier 1 on your first campaign. Leave a comment, let me know how you made out. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Well, if you're still here, you must have enjoyed the tutorial. For more juicy videos, visit my blog by clicking the logo on your screen now. See you there!